Welcome to Pat Pat's Kansi House. I think I have just hit the jackpot. This beautiful, beautiful bone marrow out. Wow, beautiful ulam on my rice here. Mmm, this is my favorite. Mmm. had the privilege of visiting Iloilo a few times in the past years. One thing that constantly stood out was the food experience. Today I get to try a famous Ilongo dish that has amassed fame internationally and has even attracted the likes of Mark Weems and my close friend Chef JP. Pat Pat's Kansi prides itself by serving the popular Ilongo soup for decades. Kansi is believed to be one of the best Ilongo dishes and is made with beef shank and bone marrow. Its distinct sour and savory flavor comes courtesy of the Batuan seed, a fruit that is used as a souring agent in Longo cuisine. Welcome to Pat Pat's Kansi House, a place that is so iconic that it has attracted the likes of Mark Weens and many other food vloggers that have come to the Philippines. Well, today is actually the first time that I get to try Pat Pat's Kansi, despite the fact that I've visited Ilo Ilo already two times. This is my third time here. Never gotten around to try it. I have tried Kansi though in Bacolod and I really like the flavor. I really like the texture and I'm really excited to have it again but it has, because it has been a long time since I've gotten to eat Kansi for the very last time. Well, Pat Pat Kansi's is a very, very famous place here in Iloilo and they also have a branch in Manila. They've been around for a lot of years and I'm really excited to taste the food here. All right, the food order just came out. We have this massive, um, this massive bone inside a kansi soup. It comes with a little bit of a broth on the side. I'm not quite sure what kind of broth that is on the side. Then a lovely plate of uh, sizzling sisik and a beautiful bowl of dinuguang. <laughs> a beautiful bowl of dinuguang, which is the blood stew. So a nice assortment of food. Let's dig in. First things first, I'm going to try the broth just by itself. It's beautifully clear. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, that is so nice. That is a very hearty, rich, tasty broth. It's not as sour as the kansi that I had in Bacolod. Also not quite as thick, but it is super delicious. Oh yeah. In the second broth, it's almost the same. I think that uh, the one broth with the big beef bone inside is a little bit milder. Mm. Maybe because some of the, uh, the fat and the cartilage emulsified it. So really, really good. Yum. I wonder where the meat is. And then here in the bottom of the broth, there are these lovely meat chunks. Mm. Mm. Tender, flavorful, mm. so so good. Actually, I would more compare this to a bulalo than I would to a sinigam. That is delicious. All right, next up, I'm gonna try a dish that I haven't had in a very very long time, which is the dinuguang. I have had uh, different types of blood sauce when I was in Baguio, but not the traditional dinuguang. Um, stew. Oh, look how beautifully thick this is, thick and rich. I'm gonna get this beautiful ulam on my rice here. And then let's give this a try. I did get garlic rice, so it's gonna have a little bit of extra flavor. Look at this heaping full. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. That is very smooth, rich, a little bit acidic. A little bit um, of that irony taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. There are like chunks of, of innards in there, chunks of liver, a taste. Mm. That is really nice. Wow. 
And then of course you cannot go without this beautiful, beautiful sisig here. And I love how sisig in every region of the Philippines it tastes a little bit different. Every restaurant has their own little style on how to make it. And different meat. Different meat, so that's what makes it very exciting. All right, let me give this a try. So nice. There is already calamansi over the sisig. I don't have to worry about that. Mmm, yeah, mm. that's rich, it's salty, it's a little bit creamy but I think it's more from like the fattiness of the meat itself. Mmm, really lovely. More um, a chunky sisig with a good bite to it versus a crunchy sisig. Personally, I like sisig when it's super super crunchy, that's my, my go-to sisig with this. This one is really, really good too. We get some more calamansi on here. Mmm, mm hmm That's good. I think I have just hit the jackpot. Let me go in here and scoop this beautiful, beautiful bone marrow out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is... This is my favorite. Mm. Wow, so good. So rich. So creamy. Just melts as soon as it hits your tongue. Oh. Ate. That food was so good. So delicious. The dinuguang. I loved it. Really good. And the sisig as well. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, what a fantastic first food experience here in the city of Iloilo. I'm excited to try so many foods on this trip, especially the Las Paz Bat Choy, the Xiao Pao, and maybe also some Western foods that were brought into uh, Iloilo from the West. Like yesterday, uh, we tried the Bavarian restaurant here in Iloilo and it was really, really good. All in all, I've always found uh, the culinary experience in Iloilo to be really, really good. And there's actually a playlist in the description box down below with uh, all of the videos that I have filmed here in Iloilo City in the past. So I'm excited to enhance that playlist with more food experiences and more things to try out here. If you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Room to stay awesome, be positive, and make it happen. Bye bye. Xiao Pao. Yeah. Xiao Pao. Xiao Pao. Show my. <laughs> Show, Show me the life hack <laughs> that you randomly stole <laughs> that instantly became a standard practice. I'll go first. Show